size 15. They fly into space repeatedly. So being able to determine the condition of shuttle components like the main engines is critical. Designing sophisticated monitoring systems to do this is the goal of a NASA-sponsored research effort at the University of Cincinnati. A team of faculty members and graduate students is developing a series of microsensors to indicate the health of spacefaring vehicles. Almost everything visible here is packaging used in testing. The sensor itself is just a tiny speck in the center. Viewing one of these sensors under a microscope reveals their sophistication. Advanced micro-machining techniques make it possible to include valves, heaters, or even motors in a device with a diameter less than that of a human hair. The goal is to embed these tiny flow sensors in the walls of critical shuttle engine and systems components to ensure they're functioning properly. And the sensors are so small that even if one came loose, it would have negligible impact on engine performance. UC researchers are also working on vibration and crack detection sensors for other parts of the shuttle which could point out existing defects or indicate fatigue in high stress areas where problems might occur. There are a number of potential spin-off applications for micro sensors like these. Researchers at the University of Cincinnati's Medical Center are already exploring their use in the care of premature infants. A significant number of preemies suffer respiratory disorders. Many must be connected to a ventilator around the clock. But setting the ventilator remains a relatively imprecise science. And improper oxygen levels and pressures can contribute to more severe problems, including mental retardation. Assistant Professor of Pediatrics, Michael Donnelly. You get into situations where you're looking at morbidity. Are these babies going to grow up to be normal, uh, fully functioning adults? Don Lee and his colleagues are studying the possibility of putting a microsensor inside the plastic tube inserted in a baby's trachea. With this type of flow sensor, we would have one of the, the vital numbers that we need, which is volume, uh, related to each inspiration cycle. So we're, right now we're looking at averages over five minutes or multiple cycles. This would actually take us down to look at breath-to-breath -breath activity. Advanced microsensors enhancing the health of spacefaring vehicles and those who might one day fly them.